Hey guys, it's Maureen here and welcome back to this week's video. We are now into February and January seems to have just flown off so quickly. I spent most of January working out my plans for the year and adjusting to the annual schedule of home and work. I think I've shared this in my uh, last video <laughs> that I made. But yeah, anyway, anyway, January is always the adjustment month. It's like a period where you fine tune things to set the tone for the year. When I was doing mine, I realized that this year will be much busier as I will have a few new projects lined up and some of the goals that I would like to see achieved. The year had already started out well for me and I've got a few pleasant news that was very uplifting <laughs> in terms of career-wise. Still not where I'm expecting it to be, but it is a good start to the year. I discovered a channel not too long ago that is somewhat like a creative pep talk for artists. The channel is run by Adam Duff. He is uh, an illustrator. I will put the link to his channel in the description box below. He has a lot of content that resonates with a majority of us. In fact, I think all of us. <laughs> Although he is an artist, and the content uh, mostly revolves around artists, but it is also applicable to our everyday lives, what I feel. Hearing him speak feels like therapy to me, <laughs> and scrolling through the comment section, I can see that his listeners also feel the same way. Adam has a fatherly approach in his messages. And advice. Although he is slightly older than me, <laughs> he didn't mention his age in his video, <laughs> but when I listen to him talk, it feels like having a father talking to me. What Adam does is something similar that I do with a few of my younger connections on my social media, especially on Instagram. Sometimes I will come across their postings about their struggles and predicaments and being someone who has lived for four decades, I can relate to them and I reach out in hope that my words and experiences as an older person can bring some form of comfort to them. I do not always get the response if what I did had any impact but to me it feels good that I am able to help someone even if it's just me spending some time talking and texting them. In one of Adam's video where he talked about what qualifies a person to call himself an artist, his perception of this is that when a person can make the other person feel the emotions that he wants to convey through his art, be it via performance or visual, that is when he is qualified to call himself an artist. When you watch a dance performance or movie or hear a musical or any song for that said, you might or often <laughs> find yourself emotionally moved by the performance. And when you look at the artist in person performing in front of you, you can also see the expression and emotions that are on display. Why art is so emotive? Because when we perform, we are doing it from the heart. When we love, we love from the heart. And that is why when we experience heartbreak and disappointment, we feel it deep within. When the heart is corrupted, all else is affected. Even the people around us can see and feel it. As visual artists, we too are putting on a performance. Every stroke, every color, every step, 
of our creative process is carefully thought of. It is not something that we just churn out in a mechanical factory mode. We put our emotions into them, our dedication, our time, and most importantly, our heart and soul. There isn't really any concrete explanation as to why and when we do certain strokes or why we have certain approach to this part of the painting and so forth. But it is rather an intuition, a gut feeling that we go by, knowing that this action will be the right one. Adam shared something similar as well in one of his videos. In his personal opinion, he mentioned that our gut feeling is a far better judge of character than our brain. Our brain is influenced by so many different factors. But our gut, deep down inside, we know our preferences, our likes and dislikes. We know it when we are saying something of the opposite to the other person that deep down inside isn't true, isn't really what we are feeling or what we want. As performers, staying true to ourselves, being honest and not afraid to be vulnerable is part of our performance. And, and when we get on that stage, quote, <laughs> we put on the best for our viewers. And in that moment too, is when we connect with them on an emotional level. That is the kind of power that is able to gently touch you yet move you to the core and with that you are already qualified to be called an artist i think i think this is by far my first ever emotional narration <laughs> as i mostly share things like this in writing and not so much verbally I feel that I am able to express myself better when I am given the opportunity to think through my words rather than spontaneously. I think <laughs> all introverts and deep thinkers are mostly like that. <laughs> At least that is how I am. <laughs> I hope you're having a good week and if you have enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. At the moment, I upload videos every two weeks and this gives me time to plan my content alongside my other projects and commitments without entirely burning out. It is a must for artists. <laughs>